spoiler warning. Spoilers for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Please don't watch this video unless you have already played the game or you don't care about spoilers. However, please watch the video. I want more views and please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more content. Every view, like, subscribe, and share means so much for me. Thanks for being my audience. Everybody knows that The Legend of Zelda has an official timeline, and Breath of the Wild takes place at the end of all three timelines, unite them at once. After Breath of the Wild's sequel, the newest Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom, seems to contradict Scoured Sword's depiction of the founding of Hyrule. Anyways, I'll give a two takes on the founding of Hyrule and how they are not inherently incompatible with one another. Without further ado, let's start. Part 1 The Found of Hyrule According to Scoured Sword. According to Scoured Sword, the very first game in the timeline, the first islands of a people of Skylock moved to the sky when the surface became too dangerous due to the demise of demonic armies looking for the Triforce, which he took with him. After demise killed by the hero of the sky, the original link, the Skyloftians go to the surface and found a kingdom by named Hyrule after patron deity Hylia. The Zelda Viking, the physical reincarnation of Hylia, becomes the first queen of Hyrule. In generations later, we have the events of Ocarina of Time, which splits the timeline in three. And now the timelines reunite. Next. We have to talk about what Tears of the Kingdom has to say about the Found of Hyrule. Part 2 The Found of Hyrule According to Tears of the Kingdom. According to Tears of the Kingdom, the Kingdom of Hyrule was found by King Raru, who, with his sister Minru, were the last two living Zonai, as well as Raru's Hylian wife, Queen Sonia. Not much is known about what happened before Hyrule was founded, but after it, Faced a crisis, but shortly after it was found, it faced a crisis in the imprisoning war, which was kicked into motion by Gandalf Dragma, the Gerudo chieftain, murdering Queen Sonia and stealing her secret stone. We have two different stories for how Hyrule was founded, but they are not completely incompatible, as there is another game which establishes that in at least one timeline before Tears of the Kingdom. Hyrule had two different foundings at different times. Part 3 The Found of Hyrule Born of Spear Tracks. The game Spear Tracks is a sequel to the Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass. First, we will need to explain why Wind Waker is important to the series. Wind Waker takes place in the Adult Timeline, the timeline where after Gandalf got Ganon banned at the end of Ocarina of Time, where Zelda stayed while then linked into the Child Timeline to make up for him missing out on his teenage years. Generations after Ocarina, Ganondorf broke free from his prison, and the people pray for the Hero of Time to turn, unaware that he's locked out by Timeline, and most likely by then, was a restless ghost on to move on because he couldn't pass down his heroic spirit to him in battle with kids and grandkids while he was alive. It didn't matter that he beat Ganondorf twice. It didn't matter that he found a new village. He was a student's teacher. That was until his direct descendant hero, Twilight, took up the blade to protect the other Ordon village kids. However, in the adult timeline, the Highlands prayed and prayed to return to Hero of Time, but nobody came. The gods had to flood Hyrule in order to imprison Ganon for more time, but even then he broke three generations after Hyrule's son. The people lived on the Great Sea, but during the finale of Wind Waker, the King of the Red Lions actually regrets the spirit of King Daphne, the last king of that incarnation of Hyrule in that timeline, allowed the kingdom to be flooded. The Link, the Hero of Wind, the first hero of that timeline, and Tetra, his last living descendant, to find a future unburned by the ritual ancient history. After the event of Phantom Aga, Tetra and their crew discovered a large landmass, and there Tetra found the kingdom she named Hyrule after now flooded ancestral homeland. That incarnation of Hyrule is the location of Spear Tracks, and that proves that Hyrule can have multiple incarnations in one found sentence after the previous Hyrule fell. Now part in part 4 of this video, I explain how the, the Skyward Sword and Tears of the Kingdom versions of fa the Found of Hyrule are not incompatible. Okay, here's how all three timelines become one. In each timeline, at the event of each game in those, in, of the last game in those timelines, Hyrule falls and is forgotten by the descendants of its inhabitants, except for myths and legends. 
After the downfall timeline, here's what I think happened. After the adventure of Link, Link ended up dying, and the remaining minions of Ganon revived him. However, as Link had completed Triforce, he used it to rebuild Hyrule and give its people back their ancestral lands to the southwest to bring to Hyrule in the adventure of Link, before returning to the Sacred Realm. While Ganon was driven back for a while, that kept Hyrule interested in its neighboring kingdom, resulting in the CDI games being canon. Yes. Okay, the CDI games being canon? It's a joke. However, Hyrule ended up falling anyways. As for the child time, I'm, I'm sure that Gan returned but was defeated at a great cost. And yet, at uh, the end of all three, Gan reincarnates. And for the adult timeline, I'm seeing that old Hyrule slowly but surely rose from the death. For evidence, Hyrule is a coastal nation in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, while landlocked in most other games that it appeared in. Also, there's a canyon on the north and west borders, and it's lower in altitude than the rest of its continent. This implies that it is the same Hyrule as the last, as the one that became a great sea, and with Hyrule having been being risen from the depths that probably goes in Gandorf being able to reincarnate. In centuries out of the final games in all three timelines, King Raru and Queen Sonia found the first news incarnation of Hyrule, which lasts for millennia. What got me thinking? In one of Tears of the Kingdom's memories, Raru says that him and Sonia are the king and queen who found Hyrule, or at least were the last time I checked. That line really raised all my eyebrows. It meant that previous versions of Hyrule were still possible. That Hyrule had different mobile different founders that Raru don't doesn't know, be them Skyward Sword Zelda or Tetra. That one line means that Tears of the Kingdom does not wreck immediately invalidate the entirety of a Zelda timeline. In conclusion, Tears of the Kingdom does not wreck on the timeline. It still allows it to be possible for its backstory to exist at the end of all three timeline branches. So what do you think? Is this theory brilliant or bogus? If you disagree with me, leave what you think the Zelda timeline looks like in the comment section below. Anyways, please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more content. Every view means a world to me. Tyson out. And, and thanks for watching.